It's a bright tent. No, I just like them. I like them better than sunglasses. They make everything brighter, but at the same time, it doesn't make the sun brighter, for instance. They're still like sunglasses. Especially when I golf, brightens everything up. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. At home, if you can hear me, we turned on the fan. Ah, now they can hear me. That fan was super loud because I get you bitch. I get toasty very quickly. Toasty, not good. I know. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Again, my name is Diallo, and welcome to our morning chair chi workout. Hopefully everybody at home is doing well on this beautiful Monday morning or whatever day or time you are watching this at. I'm hoping it's a beautiful day wherever you are. So again, for today's workout, what we're going to need, if you see Wayne's foot to my right, what we're going to need today is we're <laughs> going to need a ball. Okay. Now, all of us sitting here with me has a ball. If you look down to your right or left in your chair, uh -oh. you're going to have a ball. Ah, there you go. So everybody, we're going to have we're, for this exercise, all we're using is the ball. Again, these are balls that you can get at Safeway, Lucky's, Rayleigh's, those little bouncy balls that cost like a $2 or a dollar. You can get one of those. Nice and easy. They're easy to fill up with air. They're not heavy. If you get hit in the face with it, they don't hurt. Okay. So now we're going to get loose with our warm-up with our warm-ups here. We're going to start like we always do every single workout, which we're going to move our feet and move our arms. We're going to move our feet. It's one, two, three, move your feet. I did that all wrong. It's one, two, move your feet. One, two, move your feet, just like that. So let's get started. So we're gonna start. Everybody get your back straight. Sit up in your chairs, your back straight. And we're gonna move our feet like so. My pace. One, two, move your feet. One, two, let me hear you. Feet. One, two, move your feet. Vocally, vocally. One, two, Shit. move your feet. One, two, move your feet. One, two, move your feet. One, two, move your feet. Staying on my pace now. Staying on my pace. One, two, move your feet. One, two, move your feet. Good job at home. Two, move your feet. One, two, move your feet. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna get our arms incorporated into this too. So we're holding the ball just like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go, one, two, move your feet. 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 And to make it a little bit harder, we can go that way and we can go upwards. Ready, we go forward. One, two, move your feet up. One, two, move your feet forward. One, two, move your feet up. Two, move your feet. One, two, I'm gonna mess with some of you guys up. One, two, move your feet forward. One, two, move your feet up. Two, move your feet forward. One, two, move your feet up. Two, move your feet forward. Two, move your feet up. Two, move your feet forward. Two, move your feet up. Two, move your feet forward. Two, move your feet up. Two, move your feet forward. Two, up. Two, move your feet forward. Two, move your feet up. Two, move your feet up. Stop. Woo. If I'm out of breath, you got to be out of breath. Or maybe it's because I'm out of shape. I'm guessing it's out of shape. <laughs> You're in better shape than me. All right. Great job there. Now we're going to work on some static and dynamic stretches. Okay. So our first stretch we're going to do, the ball is going to come up over our head like so, and we're going to lean over to our right. Lean over. Feel that stretch in there. Feel that stretch. Feel those bones and everything moving. 
Back to the middle. Good. Over to the left, the other side. Feel that stretch. Feel it. Perfect. And back to the middle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go straight down and touch the ground. Good. So we're stretching the back of the legs and the legs. And back up. And down. Beautiful. How's everybody feeling? Pretty good? All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do arm circles. We're going to do one arm, but since we only have one ball, we're going to do one arm at a time. First, we're gonna start with our left arm. We're gonna put it straight out with our palm facing down. And we're gonna do small circles forward to 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're gonna hold it. Now we're gonna turn our palm skyward, so the ball skyward. Now we're gonna go backwards. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're gonna switch hands. Go to the other hand. Palm out, palm down. Now we're gonna go four to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're gonna hold it. Turn the palm straight up. Now we're gonna go backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. Beautiful. Excellent. Everybody good? All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do windshield wipers. They're going to be called windshield wipers. We're going to start with the ball in our right hand. Good. We're going to bring it up to the middle. Take the left hand and down. That's one. And up. And down. That's two. Up. Switch down, that's three. Up, switch down, that's four. Up, switch down, that's five. Up, switch down, that's six. Up, switch down, that's seven. Up, switch down, that's eight. Up, switch down, that's nine. One more. Up, switch down, that's ten. Good. It's going to be called windshield wipers or modified jumping jacks. I like modified jumping jacks better. The windshield wipers like. <laughs> Do that again? No, <laughs> you do it. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Those are my windshield wipers impression. That's a, that's a dry windshield wiper. <laughs> you put some spray on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, our next our next exercise what we're going to do is we're going to do shoulder press. Okay. So the ball, we're going to put it up near our chest. And we're going to push it up and then down. That's one. Up and down. That's two. Up and down. That's three. Up and down. That's four. Up and back. And down that's six. Up and down that's seven. Up and down that's eight. Up and down that's nine. Up and down that's ten. The interesting thing about yawning is yawning doesn't necessarily mean you're tired. You need air. Exactly. Your brain needs oxygen. So I was trying to get more oxygen in by, by uh, yawning. And they are contagious. Yawns are contagious. Well, yeah, if I yawn, most likely somebody else is going to yawn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All oh, right. that contagious. <laughs> yeah, it's not contagious, like you know, like yawning. Like it is true that they are contagious. <sighs> See, we got all three of you. All right. Everybody feel good. All right, we're gonna do one more set of shoulder press. So ball to the chest, we're gonna bring it up and down, that's one. Up and down, that's two. Up and down, that's three. Up and down, that's four. Up and down, that's five. Up and down, that's six. Up and down, that's seven. Up and down, that's eight. Up and down, that's nine. Up and down, that's 10. Beautiful. 
Excellent job. Now we're going to move down to our lower body. What we're going to do is we're going to loosen up our ankles first. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our left ankle out off the ground and we're going to rotate it. We're going to pretend like we're painting a circle with our toes. Paint the circle with our toes. Perfect. Good. Around and around they go. Where do they stop? Nobody knows. And stop. Switch legs. Okay, get rotated, paint the circle with the toes. And around and around they go. Where they stop, nobody knows. But if they stop on the grand prize, then you win a million dollars. And stop. Who stopped on the grand prize? I didn't. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do garage door openers. Okay, so we're going to take the ball. We're going to stick the ball between our feet so that we can hold it on our feet just like so. And we can pretend like our legs and our knees are garage door. The garage door opens up, they go and then down. Okay, so we're going to rotate our feet all straight, open the garage door, and then close them. That's going to be one. Open and close. That's two. Open that door and close it. That's three. Open and close. That's four. Open and close. That's five. Open and close. That's six. Open and close. That's seven. Open and close. That's eight. Open and close. That's nine. Open and close. That's ten. You know what I mean by close, not only are we going to open them all the way up, but we're going to put them all the way down so our legs are 90 degree angles. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do another one more set of that. Everybody got that? We're, actually, we're going to mix a set. So we're going to take the ball, we're going to put it in our hand, and we're going to mix that with a set of knee ups. Okay. So we're going to put the ball between our legs, like so. And what we're going to do is make sure we're holding our side if you want to. And we're going to lift our knees up and hold it. One, two, and down. And up again, hold it. One, two, and down. Good. Now, to make it even harder, what you can do is you can put your hands out like this. And ready? Knees up, hold it. One, two, and down. That's three. Good. I got two more. Ready? And up. One, two, and down. That's four. One more. Ready? Up, one, two, three, two, one, and down. Beautiful. Now ball goes back between our legs, or sorry, between our feet. And we're gonna do garage door openers again. I remind you how that is. Again, our feet are straight down at 90 degree angles. We're gonna lift them up and push the door open, push the door closed and down. That's one. Lift the knees up. Push the door open, bring it back and down. That's two. Up, open, down, that's three. Up and open, close, down, that's four. Up and open, close, down, that's five. Up and open, close, down, that's six. Up and open, close, down, that's seven. Keep going, I know it burns. Up and open, close down, that's seven. Two more, up and open, close down, that's eight. Now we got two more. Up and open, close down, that's 10. Uno mas, up and open, close and 10. Woo, you can feel that in your groin, in your thighs, everywhere, huh? Oh yeah. Feel. You feel that? I just feel it. Do you feel? I feel it. <laughs> what song is that? I know what you're talking about, but I can't think of the song. Maybe you could oh know what? If it's not a song, yeah, you have to do it. If it's not a song, you can write it. You can write it. Be an instant millionaire, one hit wonder. I doubt that. I have no connections. You don't need connections anymore. Just stick it on the internet. You got to have connections. Ooh, just put on the internet. You sure? Mm -hmm. If I have something to say and I put it on the internet, I could be well known. Mm -hmm. 
called being internet famous. It means people know who you are, but nobody knows who you are. <laughs> it's a catch 22. People know who you are, but nobody knows who you are. And people make millions of dollars a year by doing that. Well, they have to know who I am first, right? No, you can be whoever you want to. It's the internet. It's the wild, wild west. You can be whoever you want to. Wild, wild, wild west. Wild, wild west. Wild west. Wild, wild west. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. like All right, it? let's get back to our exercise now. Okay, now we're going to do ball foot rotations. Uh -oh. The ball is going to stay in our feet. We're going to lift our feet up and we're going to rotate the ball around our feet, just like so. So we're going to put one foot on the top, one foot on the bottom, and we're going to rotate and one foot on the top, one on the bottom. Rotate as far as you can go, keeping the ball in between your legs. And switch, and switch, good. And switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, perfect. And switch, one more, and switch, and down. Beautiful, that one's a hard one. Woo. That one's a hard one. Now we're gonna pick up our ball, we're gonna put it between our knees. Okay, and we're gonna crush the grapes. There's a giant grape between your knees and we're gonna crush it. We're gonna hold the crush and we squeeze it all that juice. So ready, we're gonna squeeze, hold it, hold it. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Squeeze the knees together and release. Good, you're keeping our feet on the ground and all we're doing is just squeezing our knees together like that. Squeezing our knees together with a ball in between. And okay, that's all we're doing. So if the ball wasn't there, we'd be squeezing our knees just like that, okay? Now we put the ball in between, we do the same thing with all, the only difference is the ball is between there. It makes it a little bit harder. Ready? And squeeze, squeeze, and relax. And squeeze. Three, two, one. Keep it squeezed and relax. So when we squeeze it, I'm going to count down three, two, one. That three, two, one, we're going to keep it squeezed for that time frame. Okay? So again, squeeze. Three, two, one, relax. You got more than that. Come on, Frank. Squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, one, relax. Good. Squeeze as hard as you can right here. Ready? Squeeze. Three, two, one. Good. Last one. Squeeze as hard as you can. And squeeze. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Oh, you can feel that one. Okay. Now we're going to stick with our legs and we're going to do flutter kicks. So what that's going to consist of, I'm going to show you how to remind you how to do that. Our feet are going to come straight out and we're just going to flutter, just like so. Everybody got that? We're going to do it for a count of 10. Ready and up, flutter. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now what we're going to do, in between that set, is we're going to lift our feet straight up, and we're going to do scissors. So what that's going to consist of, we're going to put our feet out, we're going to crisscross them like scissors, out, crisscross, out, crisscross, out, crisscross, just like that. Okay? Got that? We'll do 10 of those. So up, out, and crisscross. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. All right. Now we're going to go back to flutter kicks. So I'm going to remind you again. The feet are going to come out, and we're just going to flutter like so. All right. And ready, feet up, and flutter. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Now we're gonna go scissor kicks again. Okay. Remind you, feet start out wide, and then we start to scissor like so. Okay. Ready? Feet wide and scissor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. Ooh, how does that feel? That's a good little, we got a good little leg workout today. That means tomorrow we're doing an upper body workout. Ole. Ole, 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 ole. If you're at a soccer game, that would go. Yeah, really? Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Just 
choked on my own spit. Like a, um, a Spanish soccer game in Spain or like Portugal. Oh, they away a lot? Mm -hmm. They sure do. All right, so we're going to finish up here. We're down with the upper body. We're going to finish up with some dynamic stretching. All right, so kind of like how we started, we're going to finish. So first one, we're going to stretch our legs out. So feet are going to come straight out. We're going to take our ball we have, and we're going to reach down, and we're going to touch our toes if you can. Both hands on the ball. Both hands, yep. You're going to reach down as far as you can. I can't reach down very far today. My belly's too big. And back up, good. And one more time, and down. Oh, now I can touch my toes. And back up. Beautiful. Now we're going to get our knees apart. Okay, get your butt towards the edge of the seat. Uh oh. And now we're going to come straight down and touch the ground. Feel the stretch in your groin. And your groin right in this area. It's a groin. Yep, it's my groin's a groaning. Oh, my groin's a groaning. All right, back up. We do that one more time and down. Oh yeah, my groin's a groaning. That's the sound it makes. And back up. Beautiful. Whew. Beautiful. All right. Now what we're gonna do is so we're gonna do a dynamic stretch for upper body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ball and our right hand. We're gonna push our right hand straight up. We're gonna lean over our left side. So lean over yourselves, all the way as far as you can go. The ball's gonna come over your head. See, it's gonna come over your head. You gotta lean your whole body over your chair. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the middle. Take our other hand, we're gonna grab that ball. Switch hands and lean over our right side. Lean over ourselves, our right side. Good. Perfect. And back to the middle. Ooh. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do a stretch that I absolutely love. For this one, we're gonna put the ball between our feet. I call this the hug me stretch. And all we're gonna do is just flop our arms just like that. We're gonna slap our backs. Slap your back just like that. There you go. Good. Try and stretch your hands, try and get your hands to touch each other behind your head. You can do that, you are very flexible, but I'm not. Oh, how do you just choke yourself? <laughs> Perfect. Ooh. So how's that feel, everyone? <clears throat> Again, thank you everybody for joining me for our lower body chair chief workout today. I will see you tomorrow or next time, whenever you decide to sign on and, and partake. I will see you next time. Again, my name is Diallo. Thank you for joining me today on this beautiful day. Have a great one. Ole. Ole. Ole, Diallo. <laughs>